Hey guys, Jason here from Rugby Fit and I hope you've had a great festive season, had a good Christmas. Uh, I've had a few emails this week from guys saying they've had a little bit too much to eat and they're feeling a little, feeling a little bit bloated uh, and New Year's Eve is in three days so they want to know what to do to try and you know buff up in the next three days for those New Year's, New Year's parties. So what I'm going to do over the next three days, going to give you three little programs you're going to follow uh, and that's just going to help you get you on track, you know, to look good. I know it's got nothing to do with rugby, uh, but it is what you asked for. So a little three-day program, quite intense, just to get you ready for the New Year's Eve party. Now, obviously, uh, it's been Christmas, you've eaten loads, you've drank loads, and you're feeling a little bit puffy. Okay, and myself, of course, I've picked up quite a bit of weight over Christmas, and most of that is just your, the, because of all the carbs and all the sugars you've been eating, it's just a bit of water retention uh, and all your glucose. Your glycogen stores have been fully fully packed so what we're going to do with the next three days is really just deplete those gly glycogen storages right get rid of the water retention and looking you getting you looking nice and buff for your new year's eve parties so today's session uh, fairly simple we're going to do a whole body routine you're going to do shoulders chest uh, back and legs and each muscle group is going to consist of two exercises exercise a exercise b Exercise A, you're going to go heavy and doing 6 to 8 reps and then exercise B a little bit quicker for 12 reps. So we we'll start with shoulders, what you're going to do is a slow 3 second up, 3 second down dumbbell shoulder press. Right, so just pressing 3 seconds up continuously, 3 seconds down. You're going to do eight, 6 to 8 reps of that. Straight away after that you're going to take lighter dumbbells and just do a little bit quicker, you're just going to be doing side raises. Okay, so that's one set. You're going to do three in a row, right? And that's going to be one little, one little routine. You're going to take a one minute break and you're going to repeat it. So three lots of shoulder presses followed by side raises, rest a minute and then one more lot. So at the end of the day, you'll have done nine sets of each type of exercise. I hope that makes sense. On the blog, I'll go and put that down for you so you can just download it. Uh, for the chest, what we're going to do is exercise A, slow three second dumbbell press up, three seconds down, again six to eight reps, followed by lighter dumbbells and more, a little bit quicker but controlled flies doing 12 reps, right? So that's one repetition, okay? You're gonna do three little reps, which equals one set, okay? And you're gonna repeat it for two more sets. So again, it's gonna be your chest press fly, chest press fly, chest press fly, that's one set. Rest for a minute, then again, chest press fly, chest press fly, chest press fly, that's two sets, and we said we're doing three sets. Okay, straight off that, we're going to be doing back. Two exercises we're doing for that is a rack pull, which just works a little bit more on the lower back, also works a bit of legs. So it's like a deadlift, but you're just going to have the bar in line with the knees. So you're just going to be coming slowly up, three seconds up, three seconds down for six to eight repetitions. Straight after that, dumbbell in each hand, sitting down, leaning forward, and we're just going to be doing rows just a little bit quicker. Okay, so it's again six to eight reps of rack pulling, slow, a little bit quicker, 12 repetitions, bent over, bent over row. So again, three little, three little sets, okay, or reps, okay, equals one set, and again, we're going to be doing three. So again, you'll have done nine sets of rack pull, nine sets of bent over, bent over row. Last thing we're going to do is just for the legs, okay, so what you're going to do, you're just going to get a bench, more or less knee, knee level, stand on with your little stand on it with your left leg and we're just going to do a step up so you're just going to go up and down 12 on the left 12 on the right okay you're going to do it three times per leg okay and again that's one set and then again 12 left 12 right 12 left 12 right 12 left 12 right that's two sets and then again a third set right so those are your exercises but the most important thing is going to be your nutrition your nutrition is what's puffed you up and it's going to be your nutrition that's going to shrink you back down get those muscles showing. So what we're going to do for the next three days, and important, if you are playing a match in the next three days, I wouldn't do any of this. It's really going to fatigue you. Muscles are going to get sore, and like I said, it's going to deplete your glycogen stores. So if you are going to play a match, you're not going to have energy for it. So this is just for the guys, you know, for New Year's, if you want to look good, you'll be doing this. So nutrition, very important. What we're going to do for the next just three days, we say we want to deplete your glycogen stores, get rid of all of the water retention, so you're really going to limit our carbs. You basically for the next three days going to try and eat almost no no carbs. So no breads, no pastas, no potatoes, no rice, no nothing. 
Uh, if you want, if you're feeling, you know, you lack a bit of energy, you know, have a banana or two. If you really need to, okay, have some oats. And if you're really struggling, have, have a sandwich. But try for the next three days. Like I said, your glycogen stores are full. You, you're going to have plenty of energy for the next three days anyway. Right, but if you are struggling, banana. If you're really struggling, have some oats. If you're really, really struggling, have some bread. Okay, but we're going to try and cut that out. Uh, sugars, okay. Try and cut out all sugars. The only sugars you're going to get in is just from uh, fruits. You're going to get your calories from a bit of veg and you're just going to eat loads of protein. Okay, so try and stick to what I, I try and stick to white, more white protein. So have your chicken breasts, maybe a bit of, I know it's not white, but some tuna, maybe some salmon. And we're going to just stay away from red meats for the next three days because they're really, really heavy. Right, so protein wise, eat all the protein you want. Uh, for our purposes, uh, chicken breasts are going to be the best, uh, eggs, okay, and then we said either tuna or salmon, uh, vegetables, you can eat all the vegetables you want, we said we're just going to cut out potatoes, so try and eat lots of greens, <coughs> sorry, lots of greens, uh, broccoli, uh, cauliflower is the only white vegetable you can eat, carrots, just any, any form of vegetables, you get these little packets. Um, that you just pop in the microwave of mixed veg, so you know have two or three packs of that. And we said we're going to cut out all sugars. Uh, the only sugars we will get is from our fruits, and try to have mostly fruits in the morning, right? Um, that way you still got the rest of the day to burn off your sugars. Okay, so that's it for this first day. We said most importantly is your nutrition, loads of proteins, uh, limit your carbs. Um, and then try and limit your sugars. Okay, and then with the training, we said for today, we work in shoulders, chest, back, and legs. Okay, except for the legs, all the rest is two exercises: exercise A and B. Exercise A is slow tempoed, three seconds up, three seconds down, six to eight repetitions. Exercise B is a little bit lighter, a little bit quicker for 12 repetitions. Right? That is exercise A and B. Okay, do your, do your reps. That is one little one little set. Uh, two, three times, then you rest, and you repeat that twice more so that you've done nine of each exercise. I hope that makes sense. I'll put it for you on the blog as well. Uh, good luck with that, and stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye.